Hi, my name is Arnel Custodio, and welcome to another InMotion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. Today, our content is going to be concentrating on tags within WordPress. We'll describe exactly what a tag is, take you through how to create a tag, and then we'll show you how to use a tag within your WordPress site. So just what exactly is a tag? According to the WordPress Codex, a tag is a keyword which describes all or part of a post. Think of it like a category but smaller in scope. A post may have several tags, many of which may relate to it only peripherally. Like categories, tags are usually linked to a page which shows all posts having the same tag. Tags can be created on the fly by simply typing them into the tag field. By default, tags can be assigned only to the post and custom post types. Tags can also be displayed in clouds, which show large numbers of tags in various sizes, colors, etc. This allows for a total perspective on the blog, allowing people to see the sort of things your blog is most about. Many people confuse tags and categories, but the difference is easy. Categories generally don't change often, while your tags usually change with every post and are closer to the topic of that post. So the first sentence really describes what a tag is in its simplest form. Tags are keywords that describe all or part of a post. So how do you find tags within the WordPress administrator and where do you go to create them? So here we're logged into the WordPress administrator dashboard. I'm going to go to posts and in the menu you'll see tags. In the tags page you're going to see the add new tag option here on the left with the name of the tag at the top, the slug for the tag, and a description for the tag. When you finish adding all these fields for the tag, you would click on add new tag, and then it's saved to the database. Anytime you add a new tag, you're going to see them appear in a table to the right hand side. So let's add a new tag. I'm going to call this tag just tag1, just for an example. So tag1. The slug is going to be the same. The slug is a search engine friendly version of the tag name. It's usually only going to be lowercase letters, numbers, and hyphens. It's given as an easy way to remember the tag. So we'll add a description for the tag. And then when I click on add new tag, you'll see it appear here on the right. Before you can see tags within your WordPress site, you'll actually need to do a setup. By default, tags do not show up on the screen. Now tags are a form of widget. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the WordPress dashboard and then we're going to the appearance section, go to widgets. And under widgets, you're going to see in the widget area the, tag, the, um, the widgets that are available right now on your website. And this is based on the 2015 theme, which is by default right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take out a couple of things so we can concentrate just on the tags. And it's very simple, just drag and drop. And then I'm going to go ahead and put back in my tags, which I had removed earlier to show you this tutorial. Once you've added your tag cloud to the widget area, you can go ahead and give it a title as well. And I'm just going to call it tags. And then underneath that, you're going to see the word taxonomy. Now, the taxonomy is either going to be categories or tags. By default, it should be set the tags because that's what we're dealing with here in this case. Once you've got this title set and you're satisfied with your widget area, go ahead and click on save. And then if you want to see the tag area on your website, on your WordPress blog, go ahead and go and visit the site. And here you'll see it on the left hand side, tags. So in order to add your tags to the actual post, you have to go to the post itself and assign them. So here we are in a post. And in this post, I'm going to go ahead and assign the word elementum as a tag for this particular post. And I'm going to scroll down the right hand side here until I find tags. And I can either choose from very commonly used tags, which I may have already defined, or I can create one. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and add the word elementum. 
which is the tag that I want to create. I'm going to go ahead and add it. And here you can see it added. And then once you've added the tag you, to the page, you would click on update in order to make sure that that page has that assignment saved. Now, when we go back to the actual page itself and look at it, we can see the tag cloud here and we're on the actual post and you can see the tag, the word Elementum. How are tags best used within your WordPress site? WordPress tags are used for identifying specific content within your posts and also to give your viewers a broad overview of the content within your post. So here on this particular post, you can see that I have a couple tags here, but you can also take other different content within your, within your post and make them in the tags to give the user an understanding of what your content is about. You can also use tags within your WordPress post to give specific focus on a particular piece of content. For example, the Elementum tag that we created earlier, if I click on it here, it gives you the description at the top here and focuses on that word Elementum. You can add descriptions to tags and use them in a glossary-like manner, but you will need to be aware of how your theme displays that tag. In this case, the 2015 theme shows the tag above the post. When you are using tags to give your users a perspective of the content within your post, then you should consistently identify keywords within each post and assign them as tags. This way, the viewer can better identify and understand the purpose of your tags and trust that they highlight the important parts of your content. Thanks for watching this InMotion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. We hope you liked the video. If you did like it, make sure to give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave a comment or two so we would know what kind of video you'd like to see in the future. Thanks again and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.